Chapter 1 Ratios and Proportional Relationship Lesson 1 Dash 1 Rates Question 1 As you can see the problem You have CD Express offer 4 CD for $60 and Music Place offer 6 CD for $75 Which store offers the better buy? So you have a Music uh, music's Place and you have a CD Express, these two stores here. So before you can determine which store offers better, you need to find uh, which one of, uh, among the two stores, which one has the lowest price, you know, for per CD. So let me get this one first, uh, for CD Express. You get 60 divided 4, we give you a $15 per C CD. So this one here, 15 dollars per uh, per CD for Music Express if 75 device 6 you have this one at 12.12.5 12 dollars per CD so therefore Music Express offer the better buy so your answer is Music place because it's cheaper number two after 3.5 hours Pasha travels 217 miles within three and a half hours how long if, if she uh, maintain her constant speed how long will it how far will she have travel after four hours you need to find how far for one hour at this speed you need to find the speed of her walk of her travel first three so to find her speed 700 Oh, sorry, 217 device 3.5. So her speed is 62 miles per hour. So that her speed 62 miles per hour, about four hours. So in an hour, she can travel 62 miles. So to get four hours, you times with four. So within four hours, she traveled 248 miles. Right. Now, let's go, let's uh, continue furthermore. Find each unit rate. Round to the nearest hundred if necessary. Okay, I will uh, do a few numbers for you on this. When you say unit rate, uh, like say for number three, 600, uh, 360 miles in six hours. The question for unit rate, they are asking for how many miles per hour. So you simply just get the 360 and you divide 60 then you will have your answer as in miles per hour the same way with this one find unit rate they're asking for how many customer per day so you simply just as uh, you see a six hundred six thousand eight hundred and forty you divide 45 days then you will have number of customer per day Number 5, 45.5 meters in 13 seconds, they're asking for unit rate, so which means that they're asking for how many meters per second. So you use 45.5 meters divided by 13 seconds, you will have your answer as in meter per second. You divide it, you have your answer. You round it to the next hundred if necessary. Number 6, uh, 7.4 dollars for five pounds instruction find unit rate so which means they are asking for how much per pound so you're using 7.4 divide by five then you have you answer as in how much per pound again 7.40 divides five you write your answer as in dollars per pound number seven Ben can tap hundred and of 153 words in three minutes at this rate, how many words can he type in 10 minutes? Alright, you need to find how many words he type in 1 minute first. So if 3 minutes he, uh, he can type 153, so to get in 1 minute, you have 153 divided 3. So he can type 51 words in 1 minute. So in 10 minutes, you just simply multiply by 10. So 51 words in 1 minute multiplied by 10 you will have this one as uh, 510 words 510 words within 10 minutes 
Number eight, Genji buys three yards of fabric for uh, $7.47. Then he realized that he needs two more yards. How much will, how much, uh, how much will the extra fabric cost? Two more yards. No, three yards cost this much. You need to find how, ma how much it costs in one yard. So 7.47 you divide by 3. You will have this one as 2.49. When you divide, you will have 2.49 dollars per yard. But they are asking for, he need two more yards. So therefore, you need to multiply this one by 2. So you, when you times by 2, your final answer will give you a 4.98 dollars. This is your final answer for two yards of fabric. Grocery store sell a six pack of bottle for 3.79 dollars and a nine pack for 4.50 dollars and a 12 pack for 6.89. Which package costs the least per bottle? Okay. Six bottle cost this much. Let me work on each of this first. So six, uh, three point seventy nine. You divide by six. So this will give you cost approximately the first. I mean the, the first section, which is a uh, zero point sixty three per bottle. That for a uh, six pack bottle. Now for the nine pack, oh, which means a uh, nine bottle pack. So four point fifty, four point fifty divided by nine. We have this one as zero point five, zero point five per bottle. And the last one twelve pack for eight point eighty nine or six point eighty nine. So six point eighty nine divided twelve. You will have this one as zero. 0.57 per bottle. So now, as you can see, six pack cost this much per bottle, nine cost this much, twelve cost this much per bottle. So therefore, our answer to this question is the nine pack for 4.50 dollars is your final answer. Why it is so? Because you just simply show them this. Uh, this one is the reasoning because. 6 pack cost this much, 9 pack cost this much, and 12 pack cost this much. That's why this is cheaper per bottle. The least, uh, least, the least cost per bottle. Number 10. Number 10. She earned $108.75 for working 15 hours. At this rate, how much money will she earn if she worked for 18 hours? Okay, 15 hours he earned this much. How about 15, uh, sorry, 15 hours he earned this much? How about 18 hours? So, uh, you can use this one as a proportion, but I will will not show you how to use proportion. I just want to show you the how much he earned uh, per hour first. So, you have 108.25, you divide 15, then you will have her earn within one hour. So she earned seven point twenty five dollars per hour. If she worked eighteen hours, then you multiply by eighteen. So when you times by eighteen, then she will have hundred and thirty point five dollars or fifty cents. So let's say and thirty dollars and fifty cents for eight hours. This is your final answer. Eleven. The pot at uh, the tire report a pair of tire sell a pair of new tire sell for two hundred and sixteen dollars. The manager special advertises the same tire sell at the rate of three hundred and eighty dollars for four tires. How much do you save per tire if you purchase the manager special? Okay. Now this is a pair of tire, cost this much. You need to find uh, for uh, the uh, other 
uh, for the price of this tire first. So 216 you divide by 2. This one hundred and oh eight, so hundred and eight dollars per tire with this uh, sale up here. Now for the manager special advertise, four tires cost this much. So three hundred and eighty dollars you divide by four tires. Then for this manager special advertise, you pay only ninety dollars per tire. So how much would you save per tire? You just use 108 minus 95. 108 minus 95. Then you save $13 per tire. This is how you save per tire. The final answer. Number 12, which is the last number for this uh, lesson. The record of the Boston Marathon wheelchair division is 1 hour 18 minutes and tw uh, tw 20 seconds the Boston Marathon is 26.2 miles long what was the average speed if the record winner of what was the average speed of the record winner of the division alright so to get the speed distance over time so the distance divided by time this is the time so let me try to convert this into second first. So the speed they don't uh, require you to whether uh, miles per second or miles per hour. Let me convert this into uh, hour. Well, I think second is better than so one hour three thousand six hundred second. Let me let me try this. Uh, this is simple but kind of long way. So one hour, three hundred and sixty second plus eighteen times sixty will give you a one thousand eight second and plus twenty seven seconds. So plus together and one hundred one thousand and eighty plus. 27 plus 3600 seconds will give you a 47 of 4707 second this is in second now if you want to convert this into hour you divide simply divide by 6 uh, 3600 so you divide this one by 3600 will give you a 1.3075 hour so that's the time in hour 1 hour 18 minutes and 20 seconds in hour 1.3075 hours so to get the speed of Boston Marathon you get distance divided by time so you get 26.2 device 1.0 or uh, 1.3 sorry 1.3075 will give you the answer as 20 point zero four miles per hour that the speed of the Boston Marathon now let it be at this rate okay at this speed how long would it take this competit competitor to complete a 30 mile race all right with this speed how long will it take this marathon or this Boston marathon to complete the race you just simply you divide you know so 30 miles divide by the speed of uh the Boston Marathon. So you have 30 device 20.04 will give you a one point approximately 1.5 hours to complete the running with the 30 mile 
race. Oh, sorry, not running. This is a uh, marathon wheelchair division. Okay, so for this race, the person spent about one point five hours. Lesson one dash two complex fractions and unit rates instructions simplify. So I will choose uh, three numbers from this section to explain to you how to do it so that you will use that uh, understanding from this three section to answer the question in this section. So I will choose number two, four, and six. Now, uh, first you need to look at the fraction bars. There are two of them here. I think uh, you might get confused. But you should know this one longer than this. So this one is the main fraction bar. This one, the main fraction bar, and this is the main fraction bar because it's kind of longer and bigger. Now, this one, it means that 2 divides 3 over 11. This one, it means 4 over 5 divides 1 over 10. Also, divides 10. And this one, 8 over 9 divides 6, so that you will not get confused because you might think that 4 divides 5 over 10. No, it's not the okay. case. This is the 4 over 5 divides 10. So we begin with this section. 2, or you can put 2 over 1 by default, divides by 3 over 11. So when you divide fraction, you do the cross multiply. So which means 2 over, or 2 multiplied by 11, you put up here. 2 multiply 11, and then 1 multiplied by 3, put down here. This one, 4 over 5, you divide 1 by, divide by 10. So, or divide by 10 over 1. Because 10 has a uh, 1, uh, by default it has 1 as the denominator. So, once you have that, since it is a divide, so you uh, do the cross uh, product. So, 4 multiplied by 1, you put up here, and then 5 multiplied by 10, put down here and then you simplify it to get to the final answer this last number in this section 8 over 9 you divide by 6 or 6 over 1 by default has 1 as that is denominator so cross product again 8 multiplied by 1 put up here and then you put 9 multiplies by 6 you put down here and then you simplify it to get to the simplest form Let's continue. Number seven. Mary is making pillows for her life skill class. She bought two, one over two is in this case two point five yards. You can write out two point five because one and a half is five. Oh, zero point five. Sorry. So two point five yards. Her total cost was fifteen dollars. What was the cost per yard? So you just simply uh, fifteen divide by one. Oh, so uh, 15 divide 2.5 so you get 15 divide by 2.5 so let me do this number for you oh never mind uh, I think uh, you need to get this one by yourself so 15 divide by 5 uh, 2.5 you will have your answer as in dollars per yard number 8 as you can see, he rolls 3.5 miles in half an hour. What is the average speed in miles per hour? Okay, within 30 minutes, this is the the uh, the length that he uh, roll. So you just simply multiply by two. You know, to get an hour, you multiply by two. So you multiply by two or so. So obviously, this number I give you the answer. When you times two, you have two point. Uh, sorry, you will have seven miles. Seven miles per our your times two. All right, let's move on to number nine. Monica seven uh, re read read seven point five pages of her mystery book in nine minutes. Okay, what is the average? What is uh, what is her average reading rate in page per minute? In page per minute, so you just uh, divide seven point five divided by the number of minutes, and you will have your answer as in as in uh, pages. As in a uh, yeah, page per minute. So let's do this work. 
Let's move on further to number 10. Number 10, the bank is offer home loans that, at an interest rate of 5.5%, right? The, write the percent as fraction in simplest form, okay? Write the percent as fraction in simplest form. So as you know, when in percent must be divided by 100 because it's all over percent. So you just simply use 5.5 divided by 100 and then you will have your answer as in percent. Oh, sorry, as in fraction. Right? Percent as in fraction in simplest form. So you just simply uh, do this fraction and you simplify it. Let me uh, do one more step for you. This is one decimal place. You just put 55 over add one more zero to this number. I'm sure you can get to the final answer by this. Simplify by 5 and go on. You will have your final answer. Number 11. Each customer requires 0 0.75 yards of fabric. She bought 6 yards of fabric. How many customers can she make? Okay. One customer requires this. How about she has 6 fabric? How many customers will she, uh, will she, uh, can she have or can she make? So you simply just 6 divide by 0 0.75. And you just simply divide this number. I'm sure you know how to divide a whole number with decimal. You are already in seventh grade. You should know how to do this one. Even since sixth grade. So I will not do this part for you. You will have your answer as in how many customers. You know, as in customers. Number 12. Number 12. Loan company advertised that they can spread... 7,500 7, square feet in of glass in two and a half hours or two, two over, five, two, two over two hours. Find the number of square feet in of grassy that can be spread per hour. Can be spread per hour. So you just simply using 7,500 and you divide this. This is a 2.2. .2, divide by 2.2. .2, and then you will have your answer as in square feet of you know, square feet within one hour so make sure you have your answer you divide this I am sure again you should know how to divide whole number with decimal the last section of this part of this lesson right uh, I will do this section for you so that you will use your understanding to do this section write each percent as a fraction in simplest form Fraction in simplest form. Okay, uh, you know everything. You no, know, uh, if you have something as in percent, for example, a while ago you have five point five over uh, five point five percent. So which means five point five over one hundred. The same way with this, you have five over uh, fifteen, three over five over one hundred. Well, let me show you the trick in this section. First of all, you need to multiply this in together first. So you have 15 multiplied by 5 and plus 3. So 15 multiplied 5 plus 3, you have 78. So you write as 78 over 5. After that, you multiply by 1 over 100 is equal to 78 over 500 and you simplify this by yourself now as you can see here now after you have this in mind you know 5 500 I will do one more number so that you can see the sequence of this one so 2 multiplied by 5 of 10 10 plus 2 12 12 over 5 times 1 over 100. You have 12 over 500. Simplify one by yourself. Now, as you can see, you have 5, 500, 5, 500. This one right here, 3, is going to be 300. So, rather than just doing all of this multiplication, you know, with, with, uh, to save you time, you just do this way. 8 multiplied by 
324 plus 125, so you have 25, you 3, so you're going to be 300, and you simplify this, see, now, from this part, you can apply it here, this is, this is going to be over 400, so you have 56, 56 multiplies by 4, and then you plus 1, you have, sorry, 56 multiplied by 4, you plus 1, you have 225, so 225, and since this is 4, you're going to be 400 down here, and you simplify this, you know, and this one the same way, 13 times 3 plus 1, you will have, as, this is as 40, 40, and then this is 3 over 300, and you simplify this, last number, now for this last number, kind of big, big uh, this is kind of big number. We spend, uh, you have to spend more time on, on, on multiply this one, or I can show you the shortest way how to do the cross simplify. Let me begin first. First of all, you write 15 over 124, you times by 230 over 30, and then you times again rather than just put. Uh, Divide, you put times and cross multiply 124, 230. Now, once you have this, you do the cross simplify. Cross one out, cross one out, and cross this, and you cross this. And all you have left is 15 over 30. The final answer to the, finest, uh, the final answer, very easy. You simplify this one by yourself, or we will not have you on this. Lesson 1 that's free convert unit rates. Question 1 you need to convert 600,207 uh, six, uh, 607,200 feet per hour. What is the speed in miles per hour? So you simply you need to convert this many feet into miles. We got hours, hours stay the same. You don't need to convert hour to per second or minute, no, no need for that because the hour remain the same but the feet you have to convert it into miles so you need to you need to know the conversion factor first one mile, let me give you this one, one mile is equivalent to 5,200 5, feet this from miles to feet, 5,280 feet so to convert feet into mile, you simply divide this number by the 5280 feet and then you will have your number as miles per hour. Let me do that for you. 607,200 feet divides 5280 feet. Then you will have this as 115, 115 miles. Per hour. Number two, the fastest a human can run ever run is 20, 27 miles per hour. How many miles per, min, per minute did the human run? Okay, this time the miles they are the same, but they they want to know how. This is uh, the given miles per hour, but they want to know the number of miles per minute. You know that one hour sixty minutes, so. To get the number of miles per minute, you just simply divide this number by 60. So you have 27, divide 60, you have this as 0 0.44, so you have 0 0.45, not 44, 0 0.45 miles, miles per minute. 3, number 3, a uh, peregrine falcon can fly 300 22 kilometer per hour. How many meters per hour? How many meter per hour can the falcon fly? So per hour per hour stay the same, but you have to work on kilometer per hour. Now one kilometer is equal to one thousand meter. One km is equal to one thousand meter. Let's keep in mind so that you will not forget that part. So to get into meter per hour, you simply div multiply this number, 322 kilometer, you multiply by 1000, 
and then you will have your answer as in meter per hour. Just simply multiply this together by yourself. Number four, set travel one mile in 57.1 seconds. How fast did set travel in miles per hour? All right, in miles per hour, let's try to convert. Uh, this is in mile. They are asking for mile also, never mind. But this is in second. This is in hour. So you need to convert this into hour. So from this part, I'll show you another way of doing the work. In this section, you might show the easy work to do. So one hour is equivalent or equal to 3600 seconds. So from this part, let's try to show in this way. One mile, that's how you begin the work, over 57.1 second and you multiply by this by second and hour so let's set this one I want uh, I'm trying to show how to cross simplify and second down here you put second up here and then you try to work with hour so second with hour so you have one hour is equal to three thousand six hundred second see that i will try to show this one the same way with the other numbers for you to know so you are so that you will get used to that part so once you have this the second you simplify with second cross simplify like i showed you last time and then one multiplied by three hundred and sixty you have three hundred and three thousand and six hundred you have three thousand six hundred over 57.1 times 1, still the same, 57.1. So once you have this, you simply get this number, divide by the number down here, and you will have your answer as in mile per hour. Which mark for you to do? Simply divide by this. Number 5. For number five, a pipe leaking at 1.5 cups per day, how many gallons per week is the pipe leaking? First, you need to convert. Oh, sorry, you need to find the number. You need to find the number of cups per week first. So, one day, 1.5 cups. No, how about in a week? You simply multiply by seven first. So 1.5, 1.5 times 7, you have 10.5. So it, within one week, it's, it's leaking about 10.5 cup. That for a week. Now, that's for how many gallons? You need to find gallons. So you convert 10.5 cups into gallon. That will give you this part. So let me try to show you using this section. So you have one gallon is equivalent to 16 cups. So again, you're doing the cross multiply, cross, uh, we call the cross. Simplify so you cup you put up here so you have ten point five cups so not question mark is equivalent to how many gallon is it? You see? So to do this work, you just simply the cup, the cup, the cups already gone. But one multiply by ten point five, so you have ten point five, and then you divide by sixteen. So. 
Yep. You divide by that number. And then you will have your answer as in gallon per week. Number six. Child runs at a speed three yards per second. About how many miles per hour does child run? This is in miles, so you need to find in yard first. So you need to know how many how, uh, in one mile, how many yard is it? One mile into yard. So you have 5,280. You divide by 3. You will have 100. This will give you a 100. Oh, you have 1,260 yard. In one mile. Therefore, to get into miles per hour, let me use this part for you. Three sec, uh, three yards per second. You multiply by. Let's convert this. Let's try to simplify miles and uh, miles into yard. For this is yard down here. Put yard or uh, yard up here. Put yard down here. And mile put up. Yard down, yard down. So you have one mile, seven thousand or one thousand seven hundred sixty. This all simplify for yard. So yard, yards already gone. We have only mass that we need. And then now convert from second into hour. One more step. Second hour, second down here. Put second up here. And then hour, put it down. 1 hour equal to 3600 seconds. So once you have that, you simply multiply numerator with numerator, denominator with the denominator. 3 times 1, 23,600. 3,600 times 3, you have this as 10,800. You have 10,800. And then this one, second note, 1 multiplied by 1,760, multiply 1, you have 1,000. 1760 so once you divide you get this number divide by this number you will have your answer as in miles per hour for number seven a and nine you do the same process you know? let's begin with number seven first number seven Number seven, uh, you have 45 miles per hour. You convert this into feet per second. So you multiply by, let's try to convert, uh, try to eliminate miles per. Miles up here, you put miles down here. And then feet put up. And then one mile equal to 5,280 feet. That's for conversion from miles to feet and then the last section hour to second so hour down here put hour up here and second put it down so one hour equal to 3600 second so once you have that you multiply the numerator with the numerator the denominator with the denominator so you have 45 multiplied by 5280 feet and multiplies by 1 45 multiplies 5280 feet and then you times by 1 you have to answer us in 237,600 divide over 3,600 and then you will have your answer as in feet per second let's do this by yourself I will do one last number for you the same idea with this number 8 this is for number 7 and this is uh, give you another number which is for number eight. Number eight, you write as twenty six centimeter over second. We want we want to convert into meter per minute. So let me try to eliminate a uh, meter first. 
centimeter centimeter up here put centimeter down here and then meter put up here one meter equal to 100 centimeter is for elimination of the centimeter now let's try to eliminate second and get into minute second down here put second up here and then minute put down one minute 60 second and then you simplify this 26 times 60 26 times 60 you have asked 1560 and then 1 second times 100 times 1 step 100 so that you simplify you have your answer as in meter per minute for number 9 you do the same process with this let me just uh, show you a bit on this part right little little stay the same so oh, okay so this one you don't need to convert into this part because uh little little stay the same but hour and two minutes so this is going to be 60 minutes so you're using 10 110.6 you just divide this by 60 you have your answer as in liter into minute number 10 for number 10, I search in the net 2 megabytes per second. How fast is this per? How fast is this in mega per hour? Okay, okay. Uh, 2 mega per second. You just simply use uh, get 2 times by. 3600 second because uh, one hour equivalent to 3600 seconds so you simply multiply by this number two dot by this number you have your answer as in megabytes per hour I hope this will have you a bit on your doing your work